Howdy guys. All right, so let's get started with our pumpkin by building the, the main area of the pumpkin. All right, so the main part of the, the vegetable, if you will. All right, so we're going to focus on just that base pumpkin. So let's talk about what we're going to do in this section. All right, so we're going to learn how to model a pumpkin and just the base part of it. We'll move on to the stem and the face and all the cool stuff in the later sections. Uh, so we're going to look at how we can procedurally group by ranges. This is very important and gives you a lot of power when it comes to procedural modeling because then we can always count on the selection of components to be accurate. All right, and we're going to take a look at tackling different modeling techniques. So pumpkins are very unique in the sense that their skin basically has these kind of bumped out peels on them. All right, and so what we want to do is we want to learn how to create that same effect uh, without having to hand model anything. And then we're going to take a look at how we work with geometry components. All right, these are things like points and primitives and vertices and detail attributes, stuff like that. So don't let it deter you. It's quite simple. I, I swear I'll make it as easy as possible, or as easy as I can. And then finally, we're going to finish up our base pumpkin by looking at some cool vertex color tricks and how we can blur them together and get some really nice, smooth looking vertex colors. All right. so. Let's get started. 